So I'm really excited to be here with all of you. And first, I just want to say thank you. You all are amazing, amazing grassroots champions. And it is such an honor for me to represent you, Melanie and Greg, and all the Free Your Voice um, students and just the amazing work that's being done um, in Curtis Bay and in South Baltimore. is It's so inspiring. Um, and I'm so proud to be like, I represent them. <laughs> um, so thank you for being partners and thank you for being leaders and really demonstrating what is possible. Um, I'm you know, delighted to be a state delegate representing District 46 in the Maryland House of Delegates and a member of the Environment and Transportation Committee. Um, also a huge shout out to Councilwoman Porter, who's just such an amazing champion and I'm so glad to be able to be a partner with her. And to my colleagues, um, Senator Bill Ferguson, Delegates Lou Klippinger and Robin Lewis, who are also dear, dear friends and amazing partners and champions for the environment. Um, look, I, um, I am of the belief that we need to reduce the amount of single use plastic we have um, by leaps and bounds. And then for every other type of uh, waste that remains, we have to figure out how um, to redesign it so that it, it can be recycled and reused effectively, right? And I don't just mean downcycled. I mean, it has to be able to truly be recycled and be useful again. Um, so my legislation has really focused on help to eliminate the worst forms of single-use plastic. Um, several years ago, Maryland became the first state in the country to ban the use of uh, styrofoam for food and beverage packaging. Um, you know, I've, ch I've been leading the fight for a plastic bag ban at the state level. I'm excited for the city one to come online soon. Um, and this year, I, I, I introduced the state's first uh, attempt um, it was really a learning and building year um, to do extended producer responsibility for packaging. Um, and that's really thinking more holistically about how do we redesign products? How do we get the producers of these products in on the game? Because in every other country, every other country in the Western hemisphere, producers, there's extended producer responsibility so that producers are also, they are having to pay. Um, if they produce materials that are incredibly non-recyclable, it costs them more to bring those products into the state and they have to pay local governments to help deal with their disposal. So they're incentivized then to create and design products that can be recycled. Um, so we have to be working not just in Maryland, but upstream. Like we have to go way up to the producers who are designing these products that are, to, you know, have five different kinds of plastic that could never be recycled and that just fill our landfills and go to incinerators um, and will be with us forever. Um, so I'm really excited to be working on that. And, um, you know, I'm excited to be leading it the, to, you know, on today on Earth Day. I'm excited also to be running for statewide office for Comptroller so that I can take a message of growing environmental sustainability to that office as well. Um, because to me, look, this is about creating um, more, you know, when we look at um, the trash in our neighborhoods, like nobody wants their child to grow up in a neighborhood that's full of trash, right? And we know um, that, uh, and we, yes, plastic is made from fossil fuels. That's the point, right? Um, we don't, from the very beginning, right? It's polluting communities where the, uh, the oil's coming, the fossil fuels coming out of the ground. It's polluting communities, largely black and brown communities, when there are these plastic plants that are making plastic pellets. And then it's coming into our communities and polluting our communities on the way out, either through incineration, through landfilling, or ending up in our uh, in our waterways or in our, um, or yeah, I mean, almost always in our waterways. It may be on the sidewalk for a few moments, but it's ending up in the bay and in our waterways. So, and ultimately then we're eating it and our fish are eating it. So it's just so important that we get a handle on our waste stream. Um, and we're just, we're not there yet, but I know that because of people like you, we will get there <laughs> and we are going to make huge advances um, over the next few years in dealing with waste. I just feel it. And it's because of the drumbeat, because you're expanding your work and because uh, you're just continuing to build out um, and spread this word that we can do this, right? This is a solvable problem. Um, and so I just want to say thank you to all of you for your work. Thank you for having me on. I will continue to work with you, to be led by you and to help take this mission to make sure that we can um, be responsible and be a leading city 
um, and a leading state in the fight against um, unnecessary waste and single-use plastics. So thank you all.